Hi guys, I've missed you all and I hope everyone's having a good summer. I'm trying to have a good summer over here, doing the best that I can do. And I wanted to show you guys some more of my chunky block art that I've been creating. I've been having so much fun with that. And I got inspired with uh, one of my favorite magazines, Paper Cloth and Scissors. I've, I've looked at, this is the January and February 2011 edition one. And it has some good ideas in there. And I got like May and June. It looks like this one. Go 3D with art journaling. That's fun. I had a good time with that book. All of them. I love all of them. I went to my library and got them. This is March and April. Cover of that one. And I got so inspired by um, a lot of things in this magazine. And I've been to a few galleries this summer looking around getting inspired and yeah having a good time I've been making a lot of jewelry I haven't shown you guys some of my jewelry yet but I'll get to it and I did this one and of course they're textured and they are the thick ones that can stand up there's chunky block and I paint the sides and I'm gonna try to get close so you can see this I have some textured tissue paper and some um, more of my cork pieces right along in here. And then I have some, what is this? This is some, I'll think of it and come back to it. And I just have some gold leaf here. And I, I'm not sure what it's called, but on this piece right here, you can see it closer. It's at the bottom right here have some of that on the other one but yeah that's this one and I like it there's six by six inches all of them so that's that one and yeah and this one it's just gonna drive me crazy I can't figure out what that stuff is almost like uh, I can't think of it when I think of it, I'll list it in the description box. But, and I have some stones here going across there and some sand and that's all. I'm, then I use some, a little plaster down here, crackle. So it's kind of crackly and um, textured within that you can't see on here, but it is. So I like that one. Kind of orangey in the middle here and a little darker orange here. I've been trying to use brighter colors in my artwork because brighter makes me happier and just to change up some from what I've been doing. So I like that one. Hope you guys like that one. And let's see. And then here's this one. This one turned out pretty good. I like it. I have tissue paper here and I have some joint tape there. The other stuff is almost like joint tape except it's like a um, rougher fabric that I was trying to think of a name for. And I have some corrugated cardboard there, piece of wood, button, and a little saying it says first date, first kiss, first smile. I tore it off of a card that I had. So I love this one, it is cute. And um, I painted the sides kind of like the opposite color of what's showing on the painted sides. It was blue here, so I put orange on this side. And um, it's kind of orangey on this side, so I put yellow on this side. Yeah. So I like that one a lot. And what else? And then I have this one. Very colorful again. I have this one textured with fabric in here. And I have a couple toothpicks that are painted within here. And I have some sayings in there. Words that I cut out and put in there. You can see it. barely see them, but you can see them as you look at it. I have it so it kind of blends right in with the painting. And I have fabric as the petals. I have a button in the middle for that one. So I really, really, really like it. And the bright colors. And again, I painted the sides opposite color, white up here. Left that one white. 
and I did purple, kind of blue, pink, and this one is textured with um, tissue paper, um, um, what else? Some scribble paint in there, some glitter paint in there, and then I have some design paper. I really can't think today. The design paper, scrapbooking paper, yeah, that's what it's called. The scrapbooking paper I put in there. Yeah, so I've been trying to do colorful things. So that's purple and that's some pink to match. And I just did white on there. Yeah, so that's that one. I did another one that's similar, the same style as that with different colors. Here it is. I have sand textured in here going down. And then I have scribble paint too going down there. I think that's it on that one. And I still use scrapbooking paper strips of a little, I think there's a strip there and there. And that one's tissue paper and tissue paper there. Yep. So I have fun with the scrapbooking paper. Again, I painted the side white, white, green. Yeah, and last but not least, I think it's my favorite. I did it last night. I just finished. I just love how it turned out. I just love it. It's so colorful and so pretty. And try to get a close look of it. Um, I have a few pieces of corrugated cardboard right there, right here, and right here. And I kind of paint it with um, burnt umber, of course, because I got to use it in my artwork. And it just made the other colors just pop after I put that on there. So I really, really liked it. And um, some tissue papers in here. It was a little process to get this one. Um, I just painted the surface first and then I added tissue paper colors right while it was wet on it. And after that, I sponged the whole thing with white paint and it kind of gave it this look. Um, of marbly, you can see, kind of give it a marbly look of some sort. And I really like how that turned out. So that's my favorite one that I like. Let me know which one you guys like. And how many was that I did? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That was seven of them. I don't know if I like this one the best because it's the last one I did and it's new to me or not, but it's usually that's how it goes, whichever one I did recent. Most of the time is the one I like the best, so. Yeah, I just love this one. So let me know what you guys think, and if you have any good ideas, let me know. Any good suggestions, leave them down below. Comment, rate, subscribe. See ya.